The Texas Longhorns were heavily favored going into their season opener with Iowa State. On the Longhorns' first possession, fullback Leroy King broke loose on this 48-yard run to the Iowa State 23-yard line. The Texas drive stalled, however, so sophomore kicker John Goodson came on and kicked a 34-yard field goal. Iowa State came right back. This pass from quarterback Walter Grant to split in Greg Smith made a first down, but the Cyclones couldn't get much closer, so Alex Giffords tied the game at three apiece by kicking a 36-yard field goal. On the Cyclones' next possession, their top runner, Rocky Gillis, was put out of the game with a knee injury trying to make a first down. On the drive, Iowa State did get close enough for Giffords to kick a 43-yard field goal to give them the lead. In the second half, after an interception deep in Cyclone territory, Longhorn quarterback Donnie Little runs to the Iowa State half-yard line. On the next play, halfback A.J. Jam Jones sliced into the end zone, and Texas had recaptured the lead 10-9. Late in the third quarter, ISU was called for interference deep in their own territory. On the first play of the fourth quarter, Jam Jones runs the final yard of a 57-yard drive, and Texas had won their season opener over Iowa State 17-9. Hugh Lewis for ABC News, Austin, Texas.